at the root of it all in our argument is that workers have too little power in the labour market. So what's really going on, we think, you would normally expect that workers be able to bid up their wages through bargaining, but now some companies are simply too powerful. They don't need to offer more than the minimum wage in order to get workers. The benefit system pushes people into work in an extremely aggressive and punitive way. And so you've created a situation where there's just a massive imbalance of power. Um, and you see that in declining trade union membership. Now just 26% of the population are covered by collective bargaining agreements. In the 1970s, it was 70%. So the mechanism by, where, by which full employment would translate to higher wages is sort of broken down? It's broken down because workers have too little power and, and, and some companies have too much. And people simply, we talk about this as well, about some of the problems in markets where they've been taken over by very dominant firms. And one of the arguments that we make is that actually these dominant firms, it's not just bad for consumers, it's also bad for innovation. It's bad for suppliers, but it's also bad for workers. Dominant firms are able to keep wages down. And we've got to break away, it's a big argument the Commission makes, got to break away from this idea uh, that wage costs should be kept as low as possible. That isn't right. That's also one of the reasons we've got such low productivity. If you invest in people, you get higher productivity. If you simply decide that it's easy and cheap to add another worker, um, you'll keep on doing that. Mm. And that explains, uh, we think, uh, a large part of the reason that productivity is so poor in the UK.